Hello organic students, welcome to the YouTube solutions manual for the textbook Organic Chemistry. Uh, I'm Rick Mullins, uh, the author of the book. I'm Adam Osman, I'm one of Rick's colleagues. Uh, we've put together a, a series of, of assessment solutions on YouTube. Um, most of the problems in the book have at least are at least partially solved on YouTube. And we're going to show you in this video through a little bit of a skit how you should use this solution manual and why it's better than a more traditional solution manual. Anything to add? Sounds great. Let's go. All right, here we go. The scenario is as follows. I'm a normal organic chemistry student like you are. Uh, we're gonna jump like eight chapters ahead and I'm gonna solve this problem. So the reaction is asking us to predict the product of HBr with an alkene. And as a student, I might look at this, think back to my notes, what I've seen in lecture, and draw this as my product. I look at it, sure, seems right. What am I gonna do next? I'm probably gonna look at the solutions manual. So enter the traditional solution manual with Adam. Now, as a student, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna look at my answer and say, all right, I've drawn this hexagon thing, a hexagon thing, a cyclohexane, got a methyl group, and a methyl group, so all good there. But if you notice, here the bromine is on this carbon in this solution. Here it's on this one. So I'm, I'm wrong. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I have a growth mindset. We all will have a growth mindset. And, and we learn from our mistakes, and that's not a problem. But, but what am I to learn from this? Well, uh, one way to say this is, all right, I, I put the bromine on the wrong carbon. I should have had it on this carbon. So let me draw my new answer. There's my answer. And I can feel good about it. next time, next time I work this problem, I'm going to put the bromine on that carbon. But is that really enough? Is it really enough to just know, put the bromine? What this traditional solution manual hasn't taught me is why. Why was I incorrect? Why did I put the bromine on the wrong carbon? Was it a, a, a silly mistake I made? Or was it a mistake that, that indicates that I don't understand the problem? I don't understand the process, the fundamentals uh, that govern this reaction. So let's run, run this back, work the problem again, and use what would be the video solution to this assessment. All right, here I am, we're back, we've, we've kind of dialed it back, and I'm, I'm in that position where I've predicted a product. Let's look at the new solution brought to you in the style of these assessment videos. This assessment asks us to predict the product of an electrophilic addition to an alkene with a strong acid. Alkenes are nucleophiles. We can break the pi bond, we can use the lone pair of electrons, keep those lone pair of electrons with the least substituted carbon to attack the acidic hydrogen, kicking out bromide as a leaving group. That will form an intermediate carbocation. Markovnikov's rule says the carbocation will be the most stable carbocation that we can form, putting it at the tertiary position. Our byproduct is Br-, and we can use a lone pair of electrons on Br- to attack that carbocation to form our product, which is the Markovnikov addition of HBr across the alkene, where the bromine ends up on the most substituted carbon. Lots of information there, much different experience. Now, when I look at the solution and I look at just this molecule versus what I've drawn, I, I know I'm incorrect. And again, it's okay to be wrong. We learn, we learn through mistakes. But what this solution t shows me is a couple of things. One, it shows me why the bromine ended up there. The reason the bromine ended up there is because we needed to form the more stable carbocation. The other thing that this does is it gives me an idea of how I should have solved the problem in the beginning. You'll note that when I was working through the problem, I just drew the answer, right? I did all the thinking in my head. But one of the things that happens when, when, when organic chemists solve problems, we draw, we write things out, we, we use arrows, negatives attacking positives, ball rolling downhill, and we show that. By watching these solution videos, you're going to be able to understand where you went wrong. 
Now, is this going to replace tutors and working with your friends and, and office hours? Absolutely not. What we hope this is going to do is make those, those sessions, working with your friends, working with your instructor, make those even more valuable because now you're not going to ask, why am I wrong? You kind of know why you were incorrect. And you have an idea of what you should have thought about and how you should have solved the problem differently. The problems, the questions you're going to be able to ask in those situations are going to be at a much higher level and, and really help you build a much more solid foundation. And it's going to be extremely important that you build this solid foundation from the beginning. So you might start off in the, in the, in the, in the book thinking that all oh, these early chapters are easy. I don't need this. You do. You do need this. Build that strong foundation. Organic chemistry constantly builds on itself. The stronger your foundation is from the beginning, the better you're going to do going forward. We hope you like this solution manual. We hope you like these videos. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, my son, who's doing all the editing, insists that I, that I tell you that. Uh, feel free to comment. If you see something that looks like a typo, looks like a mistake, maybe something could have been more clear, leave a comment. Be nice, please. We're sensitive. Uh, but, but tell us what, what you like, what you don't like, and, and help, us, um, help us develop these in real time. Uh, because these videos are, are meant to be quick and short and, and can be easily recorded, if, if one's not working, we can jump on and, and, and quickly replace it. So I, I hope that the, this can be kind of an on-demand thing, once again, not to replace these other experiences, these other ways that you're going to access the material, but to really enhance one of them, which is a solution manual, making sure that the solution manual maximizes what you get out of each assessment you work. We look forward to working with you um, and, and, and being on screen. Uh, you'll have Adam, myself. We hope to have uh, some friends join us uh, periodically in these videos. Uh, can't wait to get started with organic chemistry. So uh, click the link to chapter one and, and let's get going.